Hello and welcome back you beautiful lot and today we are talking about some new kids on the block we are talking mile deep Hello you beautiful lot and welcome back and that is right we are talking mile deep now they are a relatively new company and in the last sort of three to four weeks i have seen them everywhere all over instagram and i had the privilege to be sent out a box of products to try now when they turn up first impressions are fantastic i love the label i love the bottle i love the design and i also love this little child safety catch more companies need to do that uh, as a parent myself that is very important to me that if my little boy walks into this room because he is just like his daddy he's a pain in the rear end he wants to know how everything works he wants to know what everything is if he walks in here and starts undoing bottles and undoing lids um then that is a cracking idea to stop him from doing it i have to have a stair gate and a lock on this door just so he can't come in and start playing with all of that now down to the products itself now my vehicle i didn't want to film it some of you may know on instagram we got hit in a car park the other week it's damaged a wing and door there will be a video of that coming up very soon um, if you want to hear a grown man getting angry with a car, then stay tuned. That will be coming up. Now, I borrowed a vehicle from a friend. Now, the vehicle hasn't been washed for a long time. When it is washed, it's usually washed with one of them sort of brushes that you wash a lorry with. Um, so it's not in the best condition. There's swirls, scratches, absolutely everywhere. However, the dirt on it was very tricky to see, as you'll see in the footage I'm about to show you. It was more like a lime scaly dirt, so it wasn't thick mud, it wasn't nasty road grime, it was more like a embedded, ingrained lime scale, and it was very hard to show you on this shocking phone, because I still haven't got my new one, um, because the car just looked really shiny. However, there was a thick layer of like lime scaly dust dirt that was ingrained into the vehicle. Now, if you watch the footage closely, you'll see that when I run my finger over it, there's no sort of line left in the dirt. However, once I licked my finger and rubbed it over the panel, um, off camera unfortunately you can see that it's moved some of the dirt around you can see the dirt that is actually on the vehicle it was just ingrained and embedded so thick that the only way to sort of show you how dirty it was was to get a wet finger and rub it over that panel so we are going to start with release which is a concentrated citrus pre-wash now you can use this at one to one for a really really dirty vehicle for medium soiling one to five and really light soiling one to ten I've used it today at one to five and I've popped it into my um, pump spray. Now, I like these pump sprays. You'll see they're not the normal pump sprays that people use. These are actually ones you can buy that are made for brake cleaner. Um, and with these, I find five or six pumps, maybe 10, 15, and you can get around a whole vehicle. These spray for such a long time for a pump sprayer. Not the old pump 30 times and then you've got five or six seconds or 10 seconds of decent spraying. These, you ain't got to pump them a lot, and they spray absolutely ages. As you can see, I am going around the whole vehicle with this pump spray, and you can see, again, I'm not having to pump it at all. I've pumped this once, and it's given me a nice, decent stream of pre-wash spray onto the panels of the vehicle. Now, these pump sprays are a little bit pricey. They are around about 20 to 25 pound, but in my eyes, they are completely worth it if you get fed up of keep constantly pumping and pumping and pumping. Now, the pre-wash spray itself is eight pound for a 500 ml bottle, which is a cracking, cracking price. Now, does the product actually work? We're going to find out. So as you can see, I've finished spraying that pre-wash around a vehicle, and I am going to let that dwell for around about three or four minutes. Now, it's a very warm day. The sun did keep coming out, but the air temperature was very warm. So I didn't want to leave it to dwell too long. I left it for around about three to four minutes. They say on here, allow up to five minutes to dwell. I decided to rinse it off and see what was left over. So as you can see, this is the area where I did that finger swipe test previously with a wet finger and it left that nasty sort of muddy murky line and you can see the dirt on the vehicle as you can see in that bit of footage that is gone this pre-wash spray has removed that at its medium sort of dilution 
ratio. So that's removed all that dirt and grime that was on the vehicle. Um, again, there's going to be a little bit of dirt. There's going to be a little bit of grime left over. However, that decent thick layer of sort of baked on grime, dust and dirt. I mean, this is a sort of farmyard area and all that dirt and dust and grime that is in the air and from the road and sort of from the traffic and from all that day to day driving has been taken off. Now, again, yes, there will be some dirt and grime left over. And that is exactly what snow foam is designed to do after the pre-wash. Now, usually I spray pre-wash on and then I don't bother rinsing it off. I put snow foam straight over the top. However, I want to show you guys how much dirt this pre-wash had taken off. So I rinsed it off and now it's time to pop the snow foam on. And the snow foam is just called snow. It is their concentrated snow foam. Um, dilution, one to 10 for heavy soiling, one to 15 for medium soiling, and one to 20 for light soiling. I have gone for medium soiling. So I've done one to 15. Um, I'll let you work the maths out. It took me a while on that day. It was a hot day. I was very tired um, and I worked it out on the lance um, after spending about 10, 15 minutes Googling. Um, but I popped that in the snow lance at 1 to 15 and we sprayed it onto the vehicle. And I was very shocked at sort of how thick it come out at the dilution ratio of 1 to 15. Again, I am using the MJJC lance. That can make thin air thick, but it did a fantastic job at making this snow foam nice and thick and giving a nice consistent blanket of snow foam on the vehicle. Now, you might have noticed there was a little bit of stuff on the side of the vehicle when I started spraying. That was my own fault. I had the knob turned the wrong way on the snow foam lance. So I was like, oh, this is a bit weak. Um, what's going on here? Maybe it, you know, maybe it's not very thick. However, turn the knob up and as you can see, nice and thick snow foam from 1 to 15 dilution ratio. Now, if you were to buy this from their website for 500 mil, you are looking around nine pound. If you were to use it at 1 to 10, you are looking at 10 washes per bottle which takes it down to 90p per wash. But that is if you used it at its maximum dilution ratio. If you were to dial it back, obviously you would get greater savings and you would get more washes out of a bottle. Now, once that has gone on the vehicle, I'm going to let that dwell. They say this can dwell for up to five minutes. However, I left this for about eight or nine minutes. You can see it had a decent dwell time. Considering it was a very warm day and the sun was out, this dwelled very, very well on this vehicle. It sort of clung to all that dirt and was sort of slowly taking off exactly what you want a snow foam to do. Again, after around eight or nine minutes, I decided to come along and rinse that snow foam off. Now, this snow foam was very easy to rinse off. Some snow foams I'd used recently seemed to just cling to that paint and seem to be a little bit harder to rinse off. This was an absolute pleasure to rinse off. Now, I'm not going to bore you me rinsing the whole vehicle off. Little montage time of me rinsing the vehicle off. And as you can see, it is coming off very, very nicely. So now, how has the pre-wash stage performed? So this is the pre-wash and the snow foam. Now, usually I do this after the contact wash stage. I go around with my drying towel, rub it all over the vehicle, and I show you guys the level of dirt left on the drying towel, which should be zero if your pre-wash and your contact wash has worked. I spoke to the owner. They said the car swelled up anyway, and they use one of those horse brushes to wash their car with, so they're not too worried. Um, so I went ahead after the pre-wash and the snow foam and rubbed a clean microfiber towel on the dirtiest parts of the vehicle, which are the lower half of the door and along the top of the sill. And as you can see, I am doing that here. And as I take the microfiber towel away, I bring it straight to the camera to show you. I'm not cutting the camera here and swapping it. You can see that this microfiber towel has come away from the vehicle spotless and clean now i'm not saying this was the most dirtiest vehicle in the world but i am saying this vehicle had some nasty baked on road grime dust traffic film and all that malarkey you get from driving up and down farm tracks daily and again this hasn't been washed for a long time that pre-wash snow foam and the pre-wash spray has done a cracking job at removing all that baked on dirt and grime now Mile Deep didn't send me any products to clean the wheels with. While I was here, I thought I might as well give the car a full, decent little valet. Not a detail, a valet. And I went over the wheels with Dodo Juice. Of course, Dodo Juice might be a little company that you might have heard of. Dodo Juice Iron Fallout Remover. And then I went round the tyre and again over the face of the wheel with forced citrus pre-wash. I like this pre-wash for doing tyres with. It gives those tyres a nice, clean look. 
went around with all my brushes and that was it that was the wheels clean i'm not going to talk too much about this because it's a mild deep review not a dodo juice and starna gloss review so now we move on to the contact wash stage and we are using cleanse ph neutral shampoo now i have gone for the light soiling option on the back again you get free dilution levels on the back i've gone for the light one which is one to four hundred dilution um now i'm using a 20 liter bucket i've worked it out to about 50 ml of shampoo into the bucket so i've popped 50 ml into the bucket i've also popped a little splash into the wheel bucket and a little splash into the rinse bucket and i'm going to go ahead and foam that up which is my favorite part of the shampoo stage and as you can see they foam up absolutely beautiful in all buckets now that wheel bucket and the rinse bucket i did only put a slight splash in and that foamed up very well too however the main bucket that i'm using to clean the car with foamed up really really well now i've also popped a slight amount into my foam lance and topped it up with a bit of water you don't need a lot because you're not snow foam a vehicle you just want to get a nice coverage of shampoo on the vehicle now the reason behind this is a it cools the panels down on a very warm day like today and it also helps sort of give a little bit of lubrication to the shampoo itself um, when you are going over the vehicle now i'm not going to bore you get me washing the whole vehicle it's time for another montage of me washing the vehicle and the shampoo feels really really nice and slick to work with it feels a very smooth, it feels very well lubricated. The only downside for me is there's no scent. Again, it doesn't affect the performance of a shampoo. However, I like a scent in my products because I find usability and sort of the wow factor when you get a nice scent from that shampoo. However, when I come round to my rinse bucket and I tip it out, I'm going to show you that there is no dirty water in this bucket. There's a few little bits in there but nothing to write home about, which shows the pre-wash stage has worked. It has done a cracking job. So that pre-wash, the pre-wash spray in the snow foam is absolutely fantastic. The shampoo got sort of the rest of that dirt off that was on the vehicle. It was very well lubricated. It glided over it without any issues whatsoever. And it was just such a pleasure to use. So now we move on to onto the Sheen Gloss Dry Aid. Now they say it's a dry aid. However, when you read the back, it is a wax polymer blend. It leaves a protective layer as well as a hydrophobic layer and helps with the rinsing and drying of the vehicle. Now, the dilutions on this are fresh coat in one to 10, top up coat in one to 20. And if you're washing your car sort of two or three times a week, just want to have a bit of a jolly, then one to 50. Now I am using this again because it's the first time this vehicle's probably had a coating on it in years. I'm doing this at one to 10 and I have only popped sort of 50 ml of product into 500 ml of water and I'm spraying it on the vehicle and it comes out like a snow foam. If you've never used a product like this before, this one comes out white. It looks like a bit of a really thin snow foam. It looks a bit like almost built hand or auto foam going into the vehicle. It looks like a very thin snow foam. What you do, you allow this to dry on the vehicle for sort of up to five minutes and then you rinse it off. As you can see, when it's drying, you can see it's sort of starting to run off anyway. It's starting to give that sort of hydrophobic look to it. And when I come to rinsing the vehicle off, I'm going to show you on the bonnet that it is very, very hydrophobic for a product like this. It is getting that water off that bonnet. Again, this vehicle hasn't had any protection whatsoever in years. And this has left a nice protective layer and a hydrophobic layer on the bonnet of the vehicle, which is going to aid the drying process. And as you can see, as I'm going around and rinsing the whole vehicle, that water is just coming off with absolute ease. So that is it guys i have used the mild deep pre-wash spray the mild deep snow foam the mild deep shampoo and the sheen high gloss rinse aid protection through the snow foam lance and the vehicle is looking cracking let's see the results
is it guys that is my mild deep product review over and done with now the car wasn't the most filthiest car in the world it did have that sort of baked in grime and road dirt and dust and all that malarkey but it wasn't the dirtiest vehicle in the world so i will come back and try some of these products at a later date but from the experience i had on this vehicle these products have blown me away the snow foam that pre-wash spray and it was enough to take that layer of dirt and grime off enough for me to wipe a microfiber cloth over i mean that has blown me away now i've done this before with a few other products on my vehicle after a few days worth of road grime and dirt and i pulled that microfiber off and it's been filthy just after a pre-wash and a snow foam so for them to do that on a vehicle that hasn't been washed in such a long time i'm blown away now this is a shampoo now my only issue with the shampoo was there was no real scent to it and however it was a cracking shampoo it did a fantastic fantastic job um, it was very well lubricated it gave the car a nice streak free finish and then once we moved on to that drying aid again i put 50 mil into 500 mil of water i could have probably done 25 mil to 250 mil of water it was cracking it went on like a snow foam uh three or four minutes later it just rinsed off and it left a fantastic fantastic hydrophobic protective layer on that vehicle which really really aided in the drying process i didn't have to use more than one drying towel usually i use one maybe two but the drying towel comes off very very wet the drying towel wasn't that wet there wasn't a lot of water to take off once i'd rinsed the vehicle down most of that water had just fallen straight off the vehicle so it's a cracking cracking product if you haven't used a rinse aid before like this i suggest giving it a go so there we have it guys these products have been mild deep i have been the hairy housewife you guys have been great as always and i'll see you all again very soon mm -hmm.